I'm a total Sonic the Hedgehog fan, much like everyone else. I like the newer games, but I don't mind playing the classics. I don't think I've ever played a glitchy or hacked games before. Though I don't think I want to play any after that experience I had. It started on a nice summer afternoon. I was playing Sonic Unleashed. I like how you got to explore the towns in it. Until I noticed, out of my peripheral vision, that the mailman had arrived and put something in my mailbox as usual, and left. I paused my game to go see what I got in the mail. The only thing in the mailbox was a CD case for computers and a note. I took it inside. I looked at the note first and realised it was from my dear friend Kyle, let's just call him that, whom I hadn't heard from in two weeks. I know that because I recognised his handwriting. But what was weird is how it looked. It looked badly written, scratchy and somewhat difficult to read. As if Kyle was having a hard time writing it down, and did it in a hurry. This is what he wrote. Tom, I can't take it anymore. I've had to get rid of this thing somehow before it was too late. But I was hoping you'd do it for me. I can't do it. He's after me. And if you don't destroy the CD, he'll come after you too. He's too fast for me. Please, Tom, destroy this godforsaken disc before he comes after you too. It's too late for me. Destroy the disc and you'll destroy him. But do it quickly, otherwise he'll catch you. Don't even play the game. It's what he wants. Just destroy it. Please. Kyle. Well, that was certainly weird. Even though Kyle is my best friend and I haven't seen him in two weeks, I didn't do what he asked me. I didn't think that a simple game disc would do anything bad to him. After all, it's just a game, right? Boy, I was wrong about that. Anyway, I looked at the disc and it looks much like an ordinary computer CDR disc. Except, it had a black mark on it written Sonic.exe. It was much unlike Kyle's handwriting meaning that he must have gotten it from someone else, like a pawn shop or eBay. When I saw Sonic on the writing of the CD, I was actually excited and wanted to play it, since I'm a huge Sonic fan. I went up to my room, turned on my computer and put the disc in and installed the game. When the title screen popped up, I noticed it was the first Sonic game. I was like, awesome, because like I said earlier, I liked the classics. The first thing I noticed out of place when I pressed start there was a split second when I saw the title image turn to something much different, something that I now consider horrifying, before cutting to black. I remembered what the image looked like in that split second of the game before it cut to black. The sky had darkened, the title emblem was rusted and ruined, the Sega 1991 was now instead a Sega 666, and the water had turned red, like blood, except it looked hyper-realistic. But the freakiest thing about that split second frame was Sonic. His eyes were pitch black and bleeding with two glowing red dots staring right at me, and his smile had stretched wider to the edge of his face. I was rather disturbed about the image when I saw it, though I figured it was just a glitch and forgot about it. After it cuts black, it stayed like that for about ten seconds or so. But then another weird thing happened. The save file select from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 popped up, and I was like, what the fuck? What's this doing in the first Sonic game? Anyway, then I noticed something off. The background was a dark cloudy sky of the bad Stardust Speedway level from Sonic CD. And there was only three save files. The music was that creepy Caverns of Winter music from Earthbound. Only it was extended and seemed to have been in reverse. And the image for the save file where you see a preview of the level you're on is just red static for all three files. What freaked me out more was the character select. It showed only Tails, Knuckles, and to my surprise, Dr. Robotnik. Now I was sure something was up. I mean, how could you play as Robotnik in a classic Sonic game? For crying out loud. That's when I realised it wasn't a glitchy game. It was a hacked game. Yeah, it definitely looked hacked. It was really creepy. But as a smart gamer, I wasn't scared. Or at least I tried not to be. I told myself it was just a hack game and there's nothing wrong with that. Anyway, shaking off the creeped out feeling, I picked file 1 and chose Tails. And chose Tails, and when I selected and got started, the game froze for about 5 seconds and I heard a creepy, pixelated laugh that sounds an awful lot like the Kefka guy from Final Fantasy before cutting to black. The screen stayed black for about 10 seconds or more. Then it showed the typical level title thing. 
except simplistic shapes with different shades of red, and the text only showed Hill Act 1. The screen faded in, and the level title vanished, revealing Tails and Green Hill Zone from Sonic 1. The music was different then. It sounded like a peaceful melody in reverse. And I started playing, and Tails started running like you would in any of the classic Sonic games. And what was odd that Tails was running along the level, there was nothing but flat ground and a few trees for five minutes. That was when the peaceful music started to lower down into a slow, deep tones, very slowly as I kept going. I suddenly saw something and stopped to see what it was. It was one of the small animals lying dead on the ground, bleeding. That was when the music started to slow down. Tails had a shocked and saddened look on his face that I never saw him have before, so I had him move along. He kept the worried look on his face. As he kept moving, I saw more dead animals, and Tails moved past him, looking more and more worried as the music lowers. And he moves past more dead animals. I was shocked to see how they all died. They looked like somebody killed them in a rather gruesome ways. A squirrel was hanging on a tree, with what appeared to be his interest hanging out. A bunny had all four limbs torn off, and a duck had his eyes gouged out and his throat slit. I felt sick to my stomach when I saw this massacre, and apparently so did Tails. After a few more seconds, there was no more animals, and the music seemed to have stopped. I still kept Tails to continue. After a minute passed, after the music stopped, Tails was running up a hill. Then he stopped. It wasn't until I saw why. Sonic was there on the other side of the screen with his back against Tails, with his eyes closed. Tails looked happy to see Sonic, but then his smile faltered. Obviously noticing that Sonic wasn't responding to him, if not acting as if he was totally oblivious to Tails' presence. Tails walked slowly towards Sonic, and I noticed that I wasn't even moving my keyboard to make him move, so this had to be a cutscene. Suddenly I began to have a growing feeling of dread as Tails walked closer to Sonic to get his attention. I felt that Tails was in danger and something bad was going to happen. I had faint static grow louder as Tails was but inches away from Sonic, and stopped and stuck his hand out to touch him. That foreboding feeling in my gut was growing stronger, and I felt the urge to tell Tails to get away from Sonic as the static grew louder. Suddenly, in a split second, I saw Sonic's eyes open, and they were black with those glowing red dots, just like that title image, though there wasn't a smile. When that happened, the screen turned to black and static sound was off. It stayed black for about seven seconds, and then white text appeared, forming a message saying, Hello, do you want to play with me? At this point, I was creeped out, but I didn't want to continue the game, but my curiosity got the better of me, and I was taken to a different level, with the level title now saying, Hide and Seek. This time I was in the Angel Island level from Sonic 3, and it looked like everything was on fire. Tails looked as though he was scared out of his wit system. He actually looked at me and made frantic gestures to me as if he wanted to get out of the area he was in, as fast as possible. I was starting to get freaked out by this. I mean, Tails was actually breaking the fourth wall, trying to tell me to get him out of there. So I pressed down on the arrow keys as hard as I could to make him run as fast as he could. A pixelated version of a creepy theme in the neat shadow at the arc as Robotnik from Sonic Adventure 2 was playing as I made Tails trek through the desolate forest trying to help him escape from whatever he was trying to run from. Suddenly I heard that creepy laugh again. That awful Kefka laugh. Right after ten seconds passed, as I helped Tails run through the forest, and then I started seeing flashes of sight popping up everywhere on the screen. Again with those black and red eyes. The music changed to that suspenseful drowning jingle as I see Sonic behind Tails slowly gaining up on him, flying. Sonic wasn't running, he was actually flying. The flying pose his sprite was making looked very similar to Metal Sonic's flying pose in Sonic CD, except it was just Sonic and he had the black and red eyes again, only this time he had the more deranged looking grin on his face. He looked as if he was enjoying the torment he was giving the poor little fox as he gained up on him. Suddenly when Tails tripped, another cuts him, the music stops and Sonic vanished. Tails led there and started crying for 15 seconds. The scene was rather upsetting to watch, which I kind of teared up myself. But then Sonic appeared right in front of Tails, and Tails looked up in horror. Blood started coming down from his blackened eyes of Sonic's, as a grin slowly grew from his face as he looked down at the horrified fox. I could do nothing but watch. 
Just in a split second, Sonic lunged at Tails right before the screen went to black. There was a loud screeching noise that only lasted for five seconds. The text returned, only this time it said, You're too slow. Want to try again? And then the god awful laugh came with it. I was so shocked by what had happened. Did Sonic murder Tails? No, he couldn't have. He and Tails are supposed to be best friends, right? Why did Sonic do that to him? I shut the shock off as I was brought back to the character select. The save file that had Tails was different. Tails was no longer in the box itself, but in the TV screen, which was flickering with that red static. Tails' expression scared me. His eyes were black and bleeding. His orange fur had gone black. And he had an expression of anguish on his face. Trying to ignore it, I picked Knuckles next. The laugh came again and the screen cuts black and stayed there for another 10 seconds. This time the level said, you can't run. I was really freaked out by now. I couldn't really tell if this was a glitch or a hack or some kind of sick, twisted joke. Or anything, really. But despite my fear of what happened next, I kept playing. The next level looked much different. It had the ground of scrap brains on. But the sky background looked like the main menu. It had the dark reddish cloudy sky. But there was a music that creeped me out the most. It sounded like Gygus' theme, right after you beat Pokey in Earth Mode. I also noticed that Knuckles was looking afraid just like Tails did. But not as much. More rather, he looked a little unnerved. He broke the fourth wall just like Tails and looked as if he wasn't sure about going on. But I made him move anyway. He ran down the straight pathway in the start level. And as he did, the screen started to flicker to red static a couple of times. And then that maddening laugh came again. Then after a few seconds of running, I noticed several bloodstains on the metallic ground. I felt a growing sense of fear again, thinking something horrible was going to happen to Knuckles. He looked nauseated, walking down this bloodstained road, but I kept him going. Suddenly, as Knuckles ran, Sonic appeared right in front of him with his black and red eyes, and the red static appeared again. When the static vanished, there was nothing but black screen and text saying, Found you. I was now scared. Sonic found Knuckles already? What was going on? Anyway, red static came again, and then I was back into the level. Knuckles looked like he was panicking, and Sonic was nowhere to be found. And this time that high-pitched squealing from the Silent Hill 1's final boss was playing. Was this some kind of boss battle with Sonic? I hope to god it wasn't. Suddenly Sonic appeared right behind Knuckles, in what appeared to be a pixelated black smoke. I made Knuckles turn, then pumped Sonic. But Sonic vanished into black pixelated smoke before I could even land a hit. A terrible laugh went off again. Then Sonic appeared behind Knuckles again, and then I made him punch him again. And Sonic vanished again laughing. Knuckles was panicking even more. And even I felt like I was going crazy. Sonic was practically playing with us. He was playing a sick, twisted little mind game with me and Knuckles. Another cutscene played, as Knuckles fell to his knees and clutched his head sobbing. I felt his agony. Sonic was actually driving us both crazy. Then in a split second, Sonic lunged at Knuckles and the screen went black, with another distorted screeching noise that lasted at least three seconds. Another text message appeared. So many souls to play with. So little time. Would you agree? What the hell? What is going on? I started to think Sonic was actually trying to talk to me through the game. But I was too scared to think that. I was brought back to the main menu and this time the second firebox had knuckles in the TV screen. His red fur had darkened to a reddish grey. His dreadlocks were dripping with blood and his eyes were black and bleeding too. And he had the look of sadness on his face. I began to think those were actual characters trapped in those TV screens on the safe house. But I couldn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. So I shut off the game and took a break. I took a nap. I wish I hadn't. Because then I began to have the most disturbing nightmare. I was in pitch black darkness. Though I was under the light given off by the lamp that hung high above my head. I could hear the cry of knuckles and tails nearby. The they were saying stuff like, help us. Why did you give us to him? And run away before he gets you too. The cries died out as I heard Sonic laugh. His laugh. It sounded a lot like the distorted Kefka laugh. You're a lot of fun to play with, kid. Just like your friend Kyle. 
though he didn't last long. He was scared, and looking around for the source of the voice. It won't be long now until you join him and all my other friends. I saw him walking towards me, flickering in and out several directions. You can't run, kid. You're in my world now, just like the others. When he grabbed me, I saw his even black and red eye, grinning face. I woke up with a fright. After a couple of hours, I decided to continue playing the game. I don't know why, but I just had to know. I had to figure out why this was happening. So I turned on the computer, turned on the game and selected Robotnik next. I still thought that was wacky. Playing as Robotnik. But anyway, the level title appeared again and this time it said, dot dot dot, which I found really freaky. This time I was in some kind of hallway. It didn't really look like it was from any of the classic Sonic games. Though it had the pixelated style, the floor was shiny and checkered. The walls were dark greyish purple with animated candle lights and a few dark bloodstains here and there. And there was a dark red curtain hanging above on top part of the screen. Every 12 seconds or so, that red curtain sways very slowly. But whenever you're playing the game, you can barely see it now. The music was oddly pleasant. A piano playing a rather sad yet peaceful song. But I knew better. This was a song that played in Hill Act 1. Only it wasn't in reverse. Robotnik didn't look entirely nervous like Tails and Knuckles did, but he did have a suspicious look on his face, as if he were just a bit paranoid. He did a little animation and I just left him standing. He turns his head to the left and, he, and then to the right, at least twice and then shrugs at me, as if he has no idea wh where he was or what was going on. Even though I was scared out of my mind about what was going to happen, I had Robotnik continue onward. He did his usual running animation, you know when you've beaten him at the end of the classic Sonic game and you chase him. As we continued going through the hallway, and then I stopped at a long flight of stairs leading down there. Now I was nervous. Even Robotnik seemed unsure of himself. I pressed on him. As I led Robotnik down the stairs, I noticed that the walls had gotten darker and more reddish. The red torches are now an eerie blue. Then we landed into another hallway. This one was longer than the last one, or at least it felt like it. Then we headed down another flight of stairs. This one was much longer and took at least one full minute. Then I heard that horrid Kefka laugh again. And then the music slowly faded until it was quiet. As it did, the walls turned more dark red and the torches were black flame now. When Robotnik landed into the third hallway, I noticed he looked really creeped out. Though he tried to hide it, I couldn't blame him, I was scared too. Suddenly Sonic popped right in front of Robotnik in the same way he did Knuckles and then the red static. The red static lasted for about 15 seconds and it showed me the most unpleasant image. The image showed a hyperrealistic of Sonic standing in the darkness. You can only see his face, while his head and torso faded into black. When I say hyper-realistic, I mean it looked so real you could actually see the lines in his blue fur, as if you could actually feel the fur if you touched the screen. His face, oh god, he had the most horrifying smile I had ever seen, and that's saying something considering I saw that image at the start of the game. His eyes are wide and black, and once again crying with blood which also looked hyper-realistic. There were two small glowing, glowing red dots in these black eyes staring right at me, as if staring into my mind. His grin was wide and demonic. It literally stretched to the sides of his face like, the, like a Cheshire cat, except Sonic had fangs, very sharp fangs. Much like the werehog's teeth, except more vicious looking, somewhat yellowish, and from the look of it, he had stains of blood had small bits of flesh on his lips and fang, as if he ate some animal. I stared back at the gruesome image for a good 30 seconds, never taking my eyes off him. I felt as if he was actually looking at me, smiling at me, that face. It just took 10 seconds for it to etch itself into my brain for good. Then the screen flickered with red static again three times, and on the third time I heard that Kefka laugh, except this time it sounded distorted, demonic even went back to the image again, except this time it was text again. Though it was messed up. But it was pretty much one of the most horrifying things I looked at since I had this game. I am God. It was when I read the message while looking at Sonic when it hit me. 
I realized right there and then. The Sonic was a monster. A pure evil, sadistic, all-powerful, nightmarish, demented monster. And all of his victims, including Tails Knuckles, were what they can possibly call him. Not just his little toys. My game is the very gateway into his chaotic, nightmarish world. And the very hell his victims attract him. Suddenly, in an actual split second, I screamed as Sonic lunged at the screen, screeching loudly with his mouth, wide open to an unnatural length, revealing nothing but literally a spiraling abyss of pure darkness before the red static came again, this time much louder and distorted, so loud that it actually hurt my ears. I yelled and grabbed my ears as the red static screeched for a good t seven seconds. Then it stopped and showed nothing but black screen. As I sat there, staring at black screen, one last text came in. Ready for round two, Tom? The Kefka laugh, now sounding more clear as if Sonic was right behind me. Came again three times as I looked at that text in shock and confusion. Then I got booted back to the main menu, and this time, the third save file had a TV image of Robotnik in the same tormented state as Tails and Knuckles. Robotnik's skin turned into a dull grey. His moustache drooped and had blackened. His glasses broke and blood coming from him, and he had a near dead like expression on his face. I looked at Tails, Knuckles, and Robotnik and cried a little bit. I pitied them for the agony they were going through. They were forever trapped within the game, forever tormented by the horrid hedgehog, and always will be. Then the computer shut itself off. I couldn't turn it back on, no matter what I did. I sat there for maybe 25 seconds, horrified by what had just happened. Sonic is the very embodiment of evil. He tortures people who plays his game, in more ways than just one. And then when he gets bored, he drags you into the game, literally drags you to hell. Where he can play with you always, as he's told. I can't get the game out of my computer. I think it's stuck in there. At least I managed to turn it back on now. After I sat there for 25 seconds, I heard the voice right behind me, like a whisper. Try to keep this interesting for me, Tom. I turned around to see where the voice came from, and what I saw made me scream. Sitting on my bed, staring at me, was a sonic plushie, smiling with bloodstains under its eyes.